The informal city can be defined as an ad hoc settlement. Residents typically self-construct or inherit dwellings made of substandard building materials. Communities develop in this nature, often lacking infrastructure and cultural institutions needed for urban life. Teddy Cruz tackles one of these communities in his Casa Familiar project in San Ysidro, California. The project lies at the U.S.-Mexican border. The ad hoc, pixelated Mexican fabric has poured over the border into the United States. Many buildings are made of local supplies and scraps from other projects. Many houses are prefabricated and are placed on stilts above existing property. The architect Teddy Cruz breaks his project into, down into three main scales, the political, economic, the urban, and the individual lot, where he re-theorizes programming of each, where housing drives social and economic activity. The political economic scale. To accomplish this project, Teddy Cruz had to appeal to the community and to the developer. He re-theorized the current political process that funds urban projects, the developer being top-down and the community being bottom-up, both having a distinct point of view. The developer risks economic capital while the community strives for social capital, both working within capitalism as an engine. The developer sees the project as market-owned, where by risking capital through loans, he can make a profit, where increased density would create more units to sell and the dweller is considered a consumer. On the other hand, the community sees the project as owned by the neighborhood, where the programming can be seen as community profit and density maximizes social exchange. A dweller is considered a participant in this community system. With this paradigm, Teddy Cruz creates a network to realize the process, connecting the city to the architect to the owners. The urban scale, the neighborhood as a site of production. The project takes place on two large parcels in San Ysidro, California. The idea was then to take the large parcels and divide them into small linear parcels, each having a different program. Circulation between the lots remains informal, like the original context. On one parcel, he divides the site into senior housing apartments with common kitchens. Instead of creating one large structure, he creates these individual linear buildings, creating and recreating and reprogramming the small parcel. The second parcel surrounds an existing church, and each is programmed uniquely. Each linear band has different program and creates a different social interaction through, different, through the creation of different typologies. Housing and cultural infrastructures are provided at this urban scale. These two developments help centralize the community and give it a new social space and identity. Performance of the small parcel. The second parcel around the church is fitted with different typologies. The parcels combine to become a generator of cultural and economic production. The church is the central component in this. The first typology is three small shelters at ground level with electricity, kitchens, and mobile furniture where workshops and local markets can take place. Housing needs to be incorporated with a social function to be beneficial for the community. Housing specifically for young couples or single mothers are placed above these structures. Another typology is live work, for, live work studio for artists placed between the church and and the other housing. Artists would not pay rent in exchange for providing the community with their services. They would expand their role as artists into the community. The third typology would be for large families and grandparents. A small strip of adjacent structures could be expanded into to provide an extension for these and can become additional housing for extended family, shops, or offices. In this model, Teddy Cruz redefines density as the amount of social exchange per acre. He also redefines housing, where it is a system that drives economic and cultural interactions. Teddy Cruz creates more than just a project by redefining what housing in the informal city can be. He values social interaction as culture more than anything else in the informal settlement.
he creates a mixed use space as a stage and a mixing bowl for potential interactions. Also, housing would be built by private developers that give back to the community, in turn, who would appreciate and love the new project. This strategy can be used as a model for any architect intervening in needy communities around the world. You could repeat the part you wanted to. We can always clip them. Okay. Yeah. Just to I think that's good for now. If we hear it and it's really bad, I know I stumbled in a couple places. But how long was it? Uh, let me see. Hopefully five minutes.